April 26, 1986, a date the world will never forget. In the dead of night, a catastrophe unfolded that would change the course of history and haunt generations to come. In the early hours near Pripyat, Soviet Ukraine, Chernobyl's reactor number four exploded. The blast sent a plume of radioactive material high into the sky, shattering the silence and igniting panic across the region. A radioactive cloud swept across Europe, turning vibrant cities into ghost towns almost overnight. Streets that once echoed with laughter and life became eerily silent, frozen in time. Over 100,000 people were evacuated, told it was only temporary. Families grabbed what they could, believing they'd soon return to their homes, their lives, and their memories. In their rush, families left behind not just belongings, but their beloved pets. Toys, photographs, and half-packed suitcases were scattered in empty rooms, silent witnesses to the chaos. Authorities forbade animals on evacuation buses, fearing radioactive contamination. Tearful children clung to their pets, but the rules were strict and unyielding. Heartbreakingly, loyal dogs and cats were abandoned, left to wander empty streets. These animals, once cherished family members, now faced a world turned upside down. Pripyat fell silent, playgrounds empty, meals unfinished, only the howls of lost pets echoing through the deserted city. The sense of loss was everywhere, lingering in every shadow. These animals became the first residents of the Chernobyl exclusion zone, a thousand square miles now off limits to humans. The world they knew was gone, replaced by a vast forbidden wilderness. The zone, sealed from the world, became an accidental wildlife refuge. With people gone, nature surged back, reclaiming buildings and streets, and wild animals began to thrive alongside the abandoned pets. Here, nature reclaimed the land, but under the constant shadow of radiation, trees grew through concrete, and the air buzzed with the unseen threat of contamination. At the heart of this new wilderness are the descendants of those abandoned pets. Over generations, they adapted, forming packs and learning to survive in a world shaped by disaster. The dogs of Chernobyl became living symbols of what was left behind. Their eyes reflect both the tragedy of the past and the resilience of life that refuses to be extinguished. Their story is one of resilience and survival, a legacy born from disaster. Against all odds, they endure scavenging, forming bonds, and even finding moments of joy amid the ruins. And it's a story we're only beginning to understand. Scientists and volunteers now study these remarkable animals, hoping to unlock the secrets of survival, adaptation, and hope in the shadow of catastrophe. The evacuation left pets bewildered. Confused and frightened, they watched as their families vanished overnight, unable to understand the chaos unfolding around them. Dogs waited faithfully by empty homes, sitting at doorways and windows, hoping for the return of owners who would never come back. Their loyalty was met only with silence and emptiness. Soon, Soviet squads entered the zone, tasked with a grim mission to cull the abandoned animals and prevent the spread of radioactive contamination. It was a harsh measure, born of fear and necessity. Many of the pets didn't survive this purge, but some managed to escape slipping away into the dense forests and crumbling buildings that now made up their new world. These lucky survivors became the founders of a new, wild population. Dogs that would learn to live without humans, forging a new existence in the shadow of disaster. No longer pets, they adapted to a harsh, humanless world. They learned to hunt small prey, scavenge for scraps among the ruins, and find shelter wherever they could, inside derelict buildings, under collapsed roofs, or deep in the overgrown woods. To survive, they formed loose packs, relying on each other for protection, warmth, and companionship in a world that had suddenly become cold and unforgiving. Over time, new generations were born, puppies who never knew the comfort of a human hand, who grew up wild among the ruins, learning to play and survive in a world reclaimed by nature. Their lives became a daily struggle for food, safety, and warmth. They faced predators, bitterly cold winters, and the constant threat of starvation, always searching for their next meal. And all the while, they endured the invisible danger of radiation, an ever-present threat that shaped their bodies and their fate, even as they roamed the empty streets. These dogs are living relics of a world upended, silent witnesses to a disaster that changed everything. They are a testament to life's tenacity and the will to survive against all odds. While humans fled, the dogs stayed behind, becoming the ghosts and guardians of the exclusion zone, haunting reminders of what was lost and what endures. 
Today, they're not just strays. They're a unique population, a living experiment in survival and adaptation, studied by scientists who hope to learn from their resilience. Their story is one of heartbreak, but also of remarkable strength, a legacy of survival in the most unlikely of places where life continues to find a way. Life for Chernobyl's dogs is a daily test of endurance. Packs roam Pripyat's empty streets, sheltering in crumbling buildings and scavenging for food. Some linger near the plant, forming uneasy bonds with workers. Others survive in the Red Forest, competing with wildlife for scarce resources. These dogs are resourceful, learning human routines for handouts and adapting their diets to whatever they can find. Winters are brutal. Only the strongest survive. Pack dynamics are complex, with hierarchies and shared care for pups. Their social bonds are key to survival in this extreme environment. They move like spirits through the silent city, a living presence in a place defined by absence. Their survival is a raw, powerful story of adaptation in the shadow of disaster. For years, Chernobyl's dogs were a poignant footnote, until scientists saw them as a window into evolution. Geneticists began collecting blood samples, building the first detailed genetic profile of these isolated dogs. Their DNA is distinctly different from other free-roaming dogs, confirming their direct descent from pets left behind in 1986. Over 15 generations, they've become a genetically unique population. Researchers are searching for genetic changes that help them survive radiation. By comparing dogs from highly radioactive areas to those in less contaminated zones, scientists hope to pinpoint survival genes. This is evolution in action, a rare chance to watch adaptation unfold. The dogs of Chernobyl are no longer just symbols, they're teachers. The discovery of Chernobyl's unique dog genetics sparked a fascinating debate. What exactly is driving their rapid evolution in such a harsh environment? Are these changes the result of the radioactive landscape, or is something else at play? Radiation is the most obvious suspect, acting as a powerful mutagen and evolutionary force. The fallout from the 1986 disaster still lingers, and the dogs live in its shadow every day. Constant exposure to radiation may have caused a range of genetic mutations, some harmful, but others possibly beneficial, giving certain dogs a better chance to survive in this toxic landscape. But isolation is just as important. The exclusion zone acts like a genetic island, cutting these dogs off from the outside world and forcing them to adapt on their own. With no new dogs coming in, inbreeding and genetic drift take over, shaping the population in unpredictable ways. Over generations, this isolation can amplify rare traits and create a unique genetic signature. Other factors, like heavy metals in the soil, constant nutritional stress, and the presence of wild predators, also play a significant role in shaping which dogs survive and which don't. It's not just radiation, it's a complex cocktail of pressures, chemical, environmental, and social, all working together to shape these dogs in ways we're only beginning to understand. The truth is far from simple. Radiation may create new mutations, but the harsh environment and genetic isolation decide which traits help dogs survive and thrive. Scientists are working tirelessly to untangle these threads, studying each dog as a living puzzle piece in a much larger evolutionary experiment. Their DNA holds vital clues to how life can adapt and persist under extreme long-term stress, insights that could help us understand evolution in other disaster zones. The evolution of Chernobyl's dogs is a unique, ongoing experiment, one that's unfolding in real time, right before our eyes. Understanding this process could change how we see adaptation, survival, and the resilience of life itself in the face of catastrophe. Let's focus on the most captivating theory, radiation sculpting the dog's genetics. Chernobyl's environment is saturated with radioactive elements, creating chronic, low-dose exposure. This relentless pressure increases mutation rates, most of which are harmful. Yet, rare beneficial mutations like improved DNA repair could help some dogs survive longer and reproduce. Over generations, these winning tickets spread through the population. Scientists are searching for genetic signatures of selection, unique DNA regions favored by evolution. By comparing Chernobyl dogs to those from non-radioactive areas, they hope to find genes linked to cancer resistance and DNA repair. If found, it would be concrete proof of microevolution in action. The dogs may be evolving to survive the atom. 
Radiation isn't the only force shaping Chernobyl's dogs. The founder effect means today's population descends from a small group of survivors, limiting genetic diversity. Inbreeding is inevitable, quickly fixing certain traits and making rare diseases more common. Some unique genetic markers may simply result from intense family-level breeding, not adaptation. The environment is also a harsh teacher. Freezing winters favor thick coats and high metabolisms. Competition with wolves selects for speed, cunning, and teamwork. The dog's genetics are shaped by a perfect storm isolation, radiation, cold, hunger, and competition. Each factor weaves into a complex evolutionary tapestry. The result is a population unlike any other on Earth. Their story is a blend of nuclear physics, biology, and survival. Chernobyl's dogs are a living testament to nature's adaptability. Amidst the science and silence, there's a story of compassion. The dogs aren't entirely alone. Plant workers and visitors have formed bonds with them. These connections provide food, care, and brief moments of kindness. The Clean Futures Fund's Dogs of Chernobyl program brings veterinarians to spay, neuter, and vaccinate the dogs. This care improves both animal welfare and worker safety. Some puppies, after thorough screening, have even been adopted abroad. Each adoption is a symbol of hope, a bridge from disaster to new beginnings. These acts of kindness add a human dimension to the story. The dogs are not just data points, they're living beings who've endured incredible hardship. Their survival is a testament to the enduring bond between humans and dogs. What do these radioactive pups teach us? They're more than a curiosity. They're a symbol of nature's resilience. In a place humans abandoned, life returned and adapted. The dogs of Chernobyl show that survival is a powerful force, even in the face of disaster. Scientifically, they offer a unique chance to study evolution under extreme stress. Their DNA could reveal secrets about cancer resistance and adaptation, but their most important lesson is hope. Amid tragedy, their wagging tails and playful yelps are glimmers of light. They remind us that life goes on, and compassion can flourish even in broken places. The dogs are survivors, descendants of forgotten pets, ancestors of a new lineage. In their story, we find a hopeful lesson about the unbreakable spirit of life on Earth.